Hi everyone! Welcome to this video about your last six weeks of studying. So you probably know that your last six weeks of studying is actually what I consider the most important part of your whole study period because it's during this time when you really have to focus on meeting specific goals so that you are in a very good place by the end of your study period and by the time exam day finally comes. So if you have been slacking off at all uh, prior to your last six weeks, now is the time when you really want to kick it into gear, start going hard, and make sure that you're meeting these goals that I'm about to give you. Um, this video is really going to be about the specific place where you should be at during each of your last six weeks before your exam. And if you're able to achieve these, then I believe that you have a really good chance of passing on exam day. These goals are actually going to be a bit more than you'd have to, but I always aim to make sure that my study strategy program members are always really well prepared, and so I like to make sure that they're a little bit above where they need to be at each step of the way. You obviously should do the same thing if you really, really want to pass your exam. Okay, so let's start at the six week out mark. By the time you reach six weeks away from your exam, you're going to want to be through your study manual completely. You will have done, hopefully, a few questions from each of the different sections, and you will have taken some time to review the difficult concepts and just get a pretty good understanding of everything on the syllabus. So if you're at that place by six weeks out, then that's a really good spot to be at. Now keep in mind, everyone has a different amount of time to study, Everyone catches on to things differently. So for you, you might need more than six weeks to meet these goals. Um, it, it really depends on a lot of different factors and that's why it's an awesome thing to be in my study strategy program where I can help you figure all that out. But if you're not, these six uh, goals that I'm gonna give you for your last six weeks can give you some kind of guidance towards where you should be at. So, during the week where you're six weeks out from your exam, what you're going to want to do is aim to get at least 50% of all the questions that you're doing right. A lot of the time, study strategy members are a little concerned when they see that they're only getting 50% of the questions right, but it's nothing to worry about because that's perfectly normal, you're in a great place still. So that's six weeks out. By the time you get to five weeks out from your exam, you're going to want to be getting about 60% of the questions right. And I should have mentioned, these questions are not timed or anything. You're just doing questions as many as you can, and you're not timing yourself. Ideally, you're not using a formula sheet, but if you need to, that's okay. I recommend that you try to get the question right by yourself first, and then if you can't and you need that formula sheet, that's okay, go ahead and use it. These goals still apply. So if you're able to get 60% of questions right with a formula sheet, that's okay. But you should be working on getting these formulas into your head so that you can eventually kind of wean yourself off of the formula sheet and not need it anymore because you obviously don't get that on exam day. Okay, so that was five weeks out. You want to be getting about 60% of the questions right. Now we're moving on to four weeks out from your exam, and you guessed it, you're going to want to be getting about 70% of all the questions you do right. This is a really important goal because 70% of the questions right is about a pass mark for your exam. So if you know that you can get 70% of questions right, even not timed, and with a formula sheet and everything like that, if you can do that with still three weeks remaining, then you're in a really good place because that means the last three weeks can be dedicated to just slightly improving your scores, but also memorizing any formulas and just working on getting faster. Okay, so now we're moving on to three weeks out from your exam. And this is when you're actually going to start doing practice exams. So you'll be timing yourself. You won't be using a formula sheet. So you're not going to be increasing your percentages as much. You're going to want to be getting about 22 out of 30 questions right if you're writing exam P. And if you're writing exam FM, you're going to be aiming for about 26 out of 35. That means that you're 
your uh, exam scores are going to be about 73-74%, but you're doing this all without any formula sheet and you're timing yourself. So this third week out can actually be a bit difficult because you're suddenly taking away your formula sheet, you're timing yourself, and you're trying to increase your percentage from 70 up to 74-ish, uh, just a little bit, but it's still hard to increase it. So this third week can often cause some trouble, trouble, but it's important to do a practice exam every day if you need to so that you can be meeting the goals that you need to. Actually, sometimes you may even have to do two exams some days because that's just what it takes to be ready on time. Okay, now you're two weeks out from your exam. So you want to be getting about 23 out of 30 on your exam P practice exams, and you'll want to be getting about 27 or so right on your exam FM exams. So that means that you're improving your scores by one for both exams. So, you, so for exam P, you moved from a 22 to a 23 in your second week out from the exam. And for exam FM, you moved from a 26 to a 27 out of 35 um, between your third and second week out from the exam. So, like I said, if you're not reaching those scores, you're going to want to do more practice exams so that you can get up to the place that you need to be. There's no way around it. You just have to put in the work to pass, and that's what it takes. Okay, now you're one week out. By the way, it is so hot here and humid. I'm, my hair is going a mess, and I'm kind of sweating a little bit. But anyway... <laughs> Um, one week out from your exam, you're going to want to be getting 24 out of 30 on your exam P practice exams, and you're going to want to be getting 28 out of 35 on your exam FM scores. If you can do this, you are in a very good place for exam day, because if you watched my video about how exam P is scored, you'll know that those are well above what you actually need to pass, but those are my recommendations for you to reach so that you are in a really good place by exam day. So if you're reaching those, you should be very proud of yourself and you're probably going to pass. No guarantees on that, but there's a really good chance, of course. Okay. So these last three weeks have been filled with practice exams. I just wanted to go through a few places where you can get practice exams because not everyone knows where to get those. So they, the SOA has a, a website where you can go to that does free SOA practice exams for exam P and FM. There are MSU exams. If you just Google exam P MSU exam, it'll probably come up. That's similar to the SOA one, it's just a whole database of different questions, so you'll get a new exam each time you go through it. Uh, a really good, really good exam to try are the TIA exams. You can get those for free on their website. For exam P, there are four different exams. For exam FM, there are two. You actually have to put it in your cart and check out, but they are free. So those are really good ones to try, and those are very close to exam level difficulty. They actually might be a little bit harder. Um, the other source of practice questions are your study manual. So ACTEX and ASM and pretty much all the study manuals out there will have some practice exams at the end, so that's another good spot to go for practice exams. So another place you can go is Goal. Goal is just a big database of practice questions. It's very new. Um, it has been created by ACTEX. And there's a goal for exam P and FM. If you have an ACTEX or an ASM study manual, you'll probably be able to access those for free in your Study Plus materials. But if you don't have one of those, then you are going to want to get the two day free trial at least so that you can just get some more questions and. And you can do practice exams in there. You can do uh, questions specific to a topic that maybe you're struggling with or anything like that. So that's another really good resource. Um, or, of course, you can pay for a goal. I think it's about $40 for six months of access. So that's actually a really good price, a really good deal, if you ask me. So 
you can get that. And the other option is Adapt. Um, Adapt is a great place to get free question or not free. <laughs> Adapt is a great place to get practice questions. It's not free, obviously, like a lot of the other sources that I've given you, but it is an option and you can use it to try to reach these goals each week. So I hope this video has helped. If you are having trouble trying to reach these goals or you're not where you need to be at, I really recommend you jump into my study strategy program so that I can help you figure out what's going on, help you get to where you need to be by exam day the best as possible. It, it might be too late, hopefully not, but just jump in there as soon as possible if you need some help because I'd love to help you pass on exam day. So that's the end. I will see you in the next video. Bye!